morning, folks. Doug here with Soul Motor Coach. Just had a coach literally 30 minutes ago arrive. I got it staged over here in uh, detail. We're going to go ahead to get the roof washed and inspect and get it over to service. But I wanted to get you in front of this coach so you can see just the way it came in. Really nice machine. Let's turn the camera around and show it to you. Stick with here. Let's stick with me to the end here. It's going to be a quick one. I'm going to show it to you. I love these coaches. They're some of my favorite to sell. Come on, let's go. All right, right here in the staging area. Uh, apologies for it being dirty, but I like, you know how I do it, folks. I'm full transparency. I'm going to show you everything. I just crawled up on the roof. Yes, I, well, full, full disclosure, I crawled up to the top of the ladder just to peek over at the roof. Extremely clean roof. The coach needs to be washed. Just came off of a 800-mile road trip to get here. Yes, through all the rain and the icky, icky, sticky uh d dirty weather so yes lots of rain it came through this is a liquid springs coach a factory tiffin open road 34 pa first let's start from the beginning this is a 2020 tiffin allegra open road 34 pa with factory liquid springs factory liquid springs means you're just going to have liquid springs on the rear not on the front but man oh man does it help with the ride on a gas coach it is unbelievable uh, wanted to get this video done for you so you can see a coach the way it came in. Now, we haven't done our inspection, second inspection yet. I do have a first inspection on this one before we sent money to the seller. Um, so we know it's a good coach. I do, when I put the slides out, I already noticed that we had a slide issue on the bedroom. No big deal, par for the course type stuff. Everything else looks good other than seeing some dirt around the coach. Just needs to, a really good detail. Uh, the coach is in fantastic condition. I see one little, we're going to go inside right now, but I see one little bend in the, looks like something jumped up and hit uh, that little piece of metal right there. We will try our best to get that straightened out. No, 100%, no guarantees, but we'll try our best to get that straightened out. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's got a little, little bend right there. Again, we'll try to get that straightened out. Looks like the previous owner had a lot of fun in this one. Seen the country in it. Very, very clean coach in general terms needs a detail very well cared for you can obviously tell coaches to sell are the open road the allegro red the phaeton allegro bus of course who wouldn't love an allegro bus but again i'm going to make this very quick check out the website at sewellmotorcoach.com we're going to have pictures and information up on the website this one just cracked 40,000 miles folks don't let that scare you that is there's nothing wrong with 40,000 miles on a gas coach on a 2020 that means they put about eight to 10,000 miles per year. If it hit the road, I'm going to check the Carfax, but if it hit the road in 2019, then that's probably somewhere in the 8,000 miles a year range. Definitely not out of the realm of what I like to see. I like to see five to 10,000 miles per year use. First and foremost, up to the front here. Again, one of the first leading indicators of a coach uh, condition is the carpets. You can tell the carpets are in really good shape, not all soiled, not only in the front cab, but underneath the sofa right here, very, very clean. Also along the refrigerator, that's clean. Now, you're going to see little specks of stuff. Uh, the coach just needs to be detailed. Taking a deep breath in. No bad smells, nothing negative to speak about. Very well optioned coach. Again, factory liquid springs, 40,000, literally just cracked 40,000 miles coming here. Had 39 and some change and we cracked 40. Yes, we have the N-Dash navigation system, triple vision camera. It was optioned with the LG front television. It does have the big 7,000 watt generator, the Magnum inverter. The previous owner put the uh, Teflon in all the cabinets to help with heat. That's a big deal. You see a lot of loyal Tiffin owners do that. Um, that's, that's a big deal right there. Huge flex steel sofa that does convert into a bed. And again, I'm going to go through this kind of quick because I want to, I don't want this to be a long video. I'm going to do a full video. Pay attention. Hit that like button, folks, uh, and subscribe because I'm going to do a full length video on this one. As soon as we get it through detail, if you work from the road, you can pop this little chair out right here. 
we can do this as well. We can pop this window open, put this down here. And guess what? We have us a little office to work from with one of the most beautiful views. This is your campsite of the coach. So if you're out on the ocean or out in the beautiful mountains, you're going to be working with that beautiful view right in front of you. We do have a fireplace right next to our flat screen LG television. Something cool that the previous owner did, and it works really, matches extremely well. And I, I'm just now noticing as they built these little shelves here, and I think that's ingenious. Tiffin, if you're watching, that may not be a bad addition that you can add or option that you can add because that is very, very good storage right there. I know it's tiny, very little storage, but man, the previous owner, they did a good job there. They put one there and also right over there as well. Let's get over here to the galley where we have your typical uh, propane cooktop, convection microwave oven, Whirlpool refrigerator with ice in the, the drawer, water inside the fridge, dual compartment sink, co beautiful Corian countertops. Again, that kitchen window, so important. And then when you have the kitchen window, they put the power tower right there. Oh, and did I mention that I absolutely love this cabinetry? Some of my favorite cabinets, the natural wood. The natural woods just get me the color combination in this coach from the floors to the decor to the countertops to the cabinetry just really flows very well together. It's absolutely in beautiful shape other than it needing a detail. Yes, I know we've seen a little bit of dust and dirt, but again, I love the condition of this coach. I know it's going to clean up beautifully and I feel like this coach is going to have very minimal issues. Coach has yet to go through our PDI process, but don't you worry about that. We're getting ready to do our second inspection. And when we get a contract on this coach with you or whoever purchases it, we're going to take it through a full PDI process, pre-delivery inspection service. We're going to touch every button, use every system in the coach to make sure that everything is working upon pickup. We have a porcelain toilet that drops straight into the black, uh, back black tank. I love the floors in this coach. Yes, I'm seeing, a again, a little bit of dirt in the shower, but we have a one-piece molded fiberglass surround shower with a skylight. The ever-important washer and dryer in this coach, stack washer and dryer, so it did not, did not give up the washer and dryer. Right next to that is our vanity with porcelain sink, dual uh, medicine cabinets. Again, we have a porcelain toilet right here. This is a foot pedal flush. I like that. Everything just drops straight into the black tank. You don't have to worry about master macerator toilets or any of that stuff. Walking on into the bedroom where this coach was actually optioned with a queen bed. Now, some people will love the queen bed. The reason I do enjoy the queen bed in this coach is the fact that it does give you more room to walk around the sides. It gives you some storage in behind and next to the bed and gives you just more freedom to walk around the bed. But if you absolutely must have a king size bed, give me a call. We can convert this to a king. As you can see, there's five or six inches on each side of the bed where we can uh, slide a king bed. Now we got to do some custom work to the frame to get it all worked out, but that's not a big deal. We can get the we can get a king size bed in here. You got to give me a call. We got to talk about that because it's not free. It does cost me some money, but we can work that in the deal for you somehow. This television is another smart television that does pop out and swivel so it's easier to watch the television while you're laying in the bed then we just have a nice amount of storage and drawers uh on the side there and then we i love the hamper that tiffin does in these and these a massive amount of drawers and that same teflon is continued on through the coach into the little closet wardrobe area you know what's the tire age of the tires and what's the generator hours Seven thousand watt generator on this one with only 113 hours that speaks tremendously to how the coach was used. You can tell it was not boondocked. With 40,000 miles, you can tell, and when you take into, you can tell it was driven quite a bit. Eight to 10,000 miles per year. That's on the high side of what you see average miles. But within range of what I've always liked, and I've said it in many, many videos, eight to 10,000 miles is what I like to see per year. So although this is on the higher side, it's not alarming. It's not considered high mileage. So don't let that be a concern. But what's the tires like? With only 113 generator hours, you can tell this coach was driven, not lived in, not not used as a home to sit still. So that's a good thing, folks. Tires, yes, we're going to need two front tires on, on, the, on the front because they're 2019, so they're over five years old on the front, but the rears are fine because these tires are set up to do 100 plus thousand miles. So my rule of thumb is five years on the drive tires, I automatically replace 
seven years on the drive tire. So if they don't, they don't follow them with that, we're going to check all the date codes, but you don't have to worry about it. We're automatically going to put tires on it if it needs it. Whatever. We're also going to do that full chassis inspection, take the wheels off, do a full chassis inspection on this one. Folks, there it is. A uh, beautiful 2020 Tiffin Allegra open road. I wish I could buy 10 or 15 of these uh, right now. I would write a check for 10 more of these coaches just like this one. Uh, to be able to offer it to you at this this type of pricing. We're a market-based price dealer, folks. We are one price dealer. We do not negotiate. If you have a trade-in, we're going to give you our best number right up front. You don't have to worry about negotiating with us. We are relationship-driven. Call me if you want to talk about that, if you want to talk more about what that means. Um, we're not transactional. We absolutely depend on relationships to make our business su business succeed it's extremely important to us it means more than just what it what it sounds like it's actually a way of doing business it's extremely important to us we have all the financing that the big dealers have we love trade-ins our pdi process is very thorough very in-depth we get on the roof we do a roof power wash a roof treatment we inspect every part of the coach three times folks i got four fingers Three times, folks. Uh, we, we inspect that we did a pre-purchase inspection before I send any money. The second inspection happens now, basically. Uh, this is Saturday, but on Monday, as soon as my guys come in, we're going to do a second inspection on this coach. The third inspection happens when you decide this is the right coach for you. We're going to take it through that full PDI pre-delivery inspection. We're going to service the engine, the generator. We're going to touch every button, use every system. We're going to check the water heater. Use everything in the coach, service everything that needs to be serviced before it gets delivered to you. Also, we're going to do a full detail inside and out of the coach, machine polish, paint correction if needed, all that stuff. All that included in our one price. You don't have to worry about us adding any extra fees except for, I always forget this one. I get yelled at by Heather and Finance. You've met Heather before. $3.99 documentation fee. We charge it to all of our cars. We have to, by law, charge everybody the same fee. So $3.99 documentation fee, that covers all of your uh, paperwork and FedEx fees and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one. I know you're going to have questions. Just jump on our website at SewellMotorCoach.com. Please stop what you're doing and hit that like button. Please, please, please hit the like button, the thumbs up button. It just takes a second. You get off this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps us out tremendously. It helps get this video in front of other people who may be looking for a motorhome who want to experience our our type of relationship driven business so for all folks this coach is in excellent condition i've showed you the couple little things that i found uh while walking around it in great shape can it ever be perfect absolutely not it wasn't perfect coming from the factory no coach is ever perfect we're going to get it as close as we can we'll try to uh, take care of that little cosmetic problem. We're going to get a couple tires on the front. We're going to do that chassis inspection. We're going to do that full service, full detailing, check every system, make sure everything's working. Thank you all for sticking in the end of this video. I had a ton of fun doing this one. I guess I just feel good this morning. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Have a great day.